Hey guys, my name is Madison, and I created this YouTube channel, The Talking Hedgehog, as a platform for people to ask questions and discuss hot-button political issues with a millennial. And if you notice me glancing down periodically throughout the video, it is probably because I'm looking at my notes. I took a lot of notes before I made this video because I tend to go off on rants and tangents, and I'd like to stay on topic. For my first video, I'd like to explain the name of my channel, The Talking Hedgehog, and what it means to me. The animal mascot for the Libertarian Party is the Quora or Hedgehog. And some places say it's a porcupine, but in my experience it's been more recognized as a hedgehog than a porcupine. I have named it after the Libertarian Party mascot because I myself am a Libertarian and would like to raise awareness for the Libertarian Party because it is very small right now. I believe in a very limited federal government and giving more power to the states because in a country so large with such ge drastic geographic differences and such varying social and economic differences, what's good for one state is generally not the best for another state, and each state would, would, would know what's best for them. I also consider myself to be a libertarian because I am fiscally conservative and socially liberal, which is kind of a happy medium for most people. Thus far, going back to a small government with little or no government intervention over an individual's rights to his or her own body. This could be anything varying from sexual orientation, tattoos or piercings, drug and alcohol use, or abortion, to name a few hot topic social issues. I'm also in favor of little or no government regulation on the business front. This means letting free trade be free trade. There, the people can decide what they're willing to pay for an item, and the business will either fail or thrive based on their ability to listen to the consumer. This also means no government bailouts for big businesses or any businesses regardless of the commander-in-chief's political agenda. Looking at you, Solyndra, and I know that hasn't been the only time throughout history where a business has gotten bailed out based on the president and their political agenda and what they seek to accomplish while in office. Just the most recent. Back to social issues. This means when individuals have control over themselves and businesses have control over themselves, they are solely responsible for their behaviors, such as no more slap on the wrist punishments for intoxicated operation of motor vehicles. If you're going to be a lot of these liberties, you have to be responsible for them when you mess up. Also, when businesses are unregulated, they can decide who to hire and who to sell to. For example, if a same-sex couple were to go into a bakery for a wedding cake, the bakery would not have to sell them the cake because the owner's beliefs are no less important than the consumer's and the business is apparently willing to lose profit over their beliefs. As far as hiring goes, race, gender, religion, ethnicity, anything of that like should not even come into play unless it interferes with your ability to complete a job. For example, if you're a Christian and you work for the government who legalized same-sex marriage recently, and you refuse to do your job giving out marriage licenses, you should be fired from your job because your religion has hindered your ability to complete your job. The same goes for a Muslim who is practicing and has, wants to avoid alcohol completely. You probably shouldn't apply to be a bartender. Or at Hooters. At Hooters, right in the application, it states that you must be able to keep yourself in good physical condition. That means looking good. That's what they are known for. And you have to be able to be up to date on current makeup and hair trends. And so if you're overweight, overweight, excuse me, if you're overweight and you don't like doing your hair and makeup or you don't like wearing tight uniforms, Hooters probably isn't the place for you. However, on a side note, nowhere in the application does it negate trans women from being able to get a job as a Hooters girl. But, hiring would be at the discretion of the manager or owner. And as far as race goes, 
I've never myself personally heard of a job that disqualifies you or qualifies you more so or less so for a job based on your race. So I personally feel that shouldn't come into play at all. As long as you can complete the job, it doesn't matter. And although many people believe that government in interference with these issues are for the better, for the most part, mandating tolerance tends to perpetuate hate and is a bad idea. By forcing someone to like you, you are not actually getting them to like you. And that is all I have for today's segment. I am Madison with The Talking Hedgehog. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or any topics you'd like dis discussed, please feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to get back with you in, who knows, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. But I'll try to get back to as many as I can, as quickly as I can. Have a great day and stay free.